Hey everyone, Warwick's here. So we're back with Voice Play Month continuing here. This Today we're going to be doing Imagine Dragons, a uh, version of Enemy. Of course, it's from the hit anime show Arcane, which I recommend you watch if you haven't. Even if you're not into League of Legends, you can still very much follow that show with no issues. Uh, extremely well written, and I'm very excited for Season 2, hopefully coming out next year. That's the hope. Uh, this one features Alexa... Um, who is dressed here in the middle, of course, as uh, one of the main characters, Jinx, uh, who is a fantastic character, uh, and Alexa does a very good job with it here. So um, I've seen this video many times. I've heard it many times. It's becoming one of my son's favorite songs. Um, he loves the Sea Shanty medley from Home Free, but this one's starting to climb his list as one that he wants me to play for him a lot. So we've been listening to it a lot as he and I have been hanging out. So. This is not going to be a first-time reaction. We're just going to dive in and talk about the things that I think are neat about these. So if you're new to the channel, just a little bit about me. First off, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm not a professional musician. I'm just a guy who loves music, has a good eye for detail, and just likes to talk and nerd out about music. I'm not a technical you know, savant of any kind. Uh, I'm getting a little bit better at identifying notes and like techniques and stuff, but... Um, if you're looking for like the super really in-depth nerdy breakdowns, definitely recommend those creators that can definitely do that because of their uh, active professional lives. Folks like the Charismatic Voice, Mortius, Maggie Does Music, Peter Barber, all those folks who are wonderful creators, you should go follow the, all of them, uh, are going to kind of get into the more technical aspects of the thing. I just talk about the things that I think are neat. So... Uh, right off the start here, just as we before we play any music here, I love the background that they did for this. I know that Alexa was filming uh, somewhere else separate from voice play, so this had to be done basically full green screen. Uh, but for those of you unaware of the series, this is the city of Piltover, uh, which is one of the main cities in the League of Legends world of Runeterra. Uh, and this is, uh, if I believe correctly, this background is from one of the final episodes of Season 1. No spoilers, but... Uh, as you can tell, things are away going on in the city. So uh, we're going to start here. So in terms of characters, the only two that I know for a fact that did any sort of characters was Jinx here in the middle, played by Alexa, and uh, Caesars doing a character called Echo. The rest are just kind of generally dressed up as you would see people in the city of Piltover slash Zon, which is kind of the underworld of Piltover. Uh, so no special characters as far as I'm aware. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But um, but I really like the kind of setup here. So let's go ahead and get right into the actual music reaction here itself. All right, so we're just going to do that right there before we get into any of Ellie's uh, lines here. So right off the start, keeping it very simple, just like the regular song does. Um, but I like the building of the harmonies. They started with just Alexis, Caesar, and I think, uh, I think Lane, and then uh, Caesar, and then of course Jep at the end with the bass, all kind of add in and fill out the harmony, fill out the chord, and then they raise it up. Ooh, and then they're going to start right into Ellie, who is the perfect voice for this because of his rock background that he's had in the past wake up to the sounds of the silence that allows for my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground i'm searching to behold the stories that are told when my back is to the world that's smiling when i turn whoever edited this did a great job with making alexa look like jinx in these things with uh kind of the frantic panic movements i'm not again not going to give anything away in the series itself because if you haven't watched it you should but jinx is a character that has a very interesting arc throughout the first season uh and has a lot of manic tendencies as a result of the experiences that she has um and those are shown well through the video editing here whoever whichever voice player member did the editing i'm going to assume it was lane or ellie because i know they typically do the editing but uh good job allows for my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground i'm searching to behold the stories that are told when my back is to the world that's smiling when i turn to you you're the greatest but one of course caesar comes in like a superstar 
with uh, the very smooth, uh, almost sultry, tell me you're the greatest. Um, and I liked in the background with Alexa, you're the greatest. He's very staccato background, almost, almost harmonies. They're not going at the same time, but they just fit really well. And then of course you have the two guys at the bottom with Lane and Jeff who are going to do many, many insane things that I will probably talk about a lot in this video. Once you turn, they hate us. Like that. Lane, sir, also love this. This is a reference to the show itself with the purple eyes. Again, not going to... Uh, purple eyes are not that character's normal colors, but uh, yeah. Listen to Lane again right here. I'll go right here. something along those lines really really good stuff and then of course the the gunshot Yeah, so the chorus there, just kind of let that play through. Uh, the chorus to me is really, really interesting because um, a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, you have the kind of the top three voice lines here and, and Caesar, Ellie, and Alexa kind of doing the main choral line and doing some good harmonies there. Um, of course, everyone notices Jeff's little kind of sound, that like deep guttural bass sound almost, uh, mimicking a very, very low bass guitar there. Excellent work, Jeff. Just making the impossible seem easy. Um, the thing that I want to point out, particularly in this section, is Lane. So let's listen. Pay attention to really what Lane's doing. He's playing, like, he's really mimicking the drum set from the actual song extremely well here, with a little bit of his own twist put on it. As you can see, he's like dropping these drifts there and then pausing for like a full beat and then drops back into it. Like, I just really, really enjoy that. It's very good control, uh, breath control in particular, that allows him to do that. Um, just really, really strong uh, showcasing of not just his ridiculous range of stuff that he can do, which we've already kind of heard a little bit of in this, but showing off that he's got this ability to kind of pause control and make it seem like he's not missing anything, but cause he's not, but like it adds a real nice quality to the drums in this that uh, is tough to mimic at times, uh, especially if you're not in an, an experienced vocal percussionist like Lane is where being able to go and something along those lines where you have to make that pause and either you're catching your breath in that moment or you're kind of holding it for a sec just really really good breath control to allow him to then go back into the rest of it here all right uh let's see if i can guess that note from jeff um it's in chest i know that I'm going to say the C2. Tell me if I'm wrong. And now we get into the next section with uh, Caesar kind of taking over the main the main line here. And we get another just really fun section. The words up on the wall as you're praying from a fall. And the laughter in the halls and the names that I've been called. Back in my mind and I'm waiting for the time. But I'll show you what it's like. Do you know it's been in my mind. I really like Ellie here uh, and everything he's doing. Kind of hard to tell in the background because he's not being shown the whole time, but just kind of pay attention to the background and the high voice of what's going on. It's a lot of that work is Ellie. Um, and I really, really like what he's doing there. The sympathy, yeah, I went too far back. Yeah. 
get in a mic. So yeah, Ellie showing off the range there, getting down closer to like a baritone level on the initial background text that he was doing. And then of course he gets into the high note and you can tell when he does like the, I'm gripping a cantaloupe type motion. Uh, then he's really kind of pushing his upper chest range at that point. Um, so just really showing off the range in the background and it kind of goes unnoticed because of course you have great main line singing from Caesar and Alexa. So just wanted to give Ellie his props there because I thought that was fantastic. Oh God, her face there. Look at this. Oh, I love the, I love when singers do a great job of putting in facial expressions that suit and match perfectly. It's not always easy to do. And here, of course, like putting on almost that, like, it's almost patronizing look on her face as she's singing greatest. Like, oh, you telling, telling you you're the greatest? Like, huh? You know, so it's just really, really cool that she does that. And her face did a ton of work in that clip, and I just loved it. And it just really adds uh, a real kind of sort of visual depth to this song, which has a ton of stuff going on visually for it anyways. But now we're going to go back five seconds so we can listen to that and then get ready for uh, Ellie doing top-notch Ellie things. Hashtag Ellie things. Ooh, that rise up there by Alexa. Very good at the end. Uh, very, very good at the end. Um, of course, Ellie doing that just fantastic high notes, really pushing the upper range uh, of his chest there, it sounds like. Just fantastic work. And then, of course, the drop by Lane. As we're getting, we're going to listen to it again. Dang. That's had to be Jeff. Um, uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. It, it was Jeff doing stupid Jeff things, you know, um, uh, but I really like how Lane kind of, we go back to the beginning where he did that <laughs> type thing. He did it again here and then added in the type thing. I don't remember exactly the pattern that he did there, but he added that stuff in, which, you know, handling all of that in one go is really nice, really smooth, and I just greatly appreciate the work that Lane's doing in this, of course. You know, a lot of people talk about Jeff's bass and the vocals from the middle three here. I'm pointing at my screen like you can see it. But, uh, but for the most part, like, Lane, I think, is doing just a tremendous amount of work here um, to really kind of keep things interesting in the background with the way that he's doing his vocal percussion. It's just really, really cool stuff. Oh, Jeff. Oh, I... uh, that had to have been. Ooh, let me guess what that was. Uh, uh... Uh, uh, G1? <laughs> oh, the little laugh, Jeff. I God, that gets me every single time, and I love it. Uh, I don't know how he did that, but it's just tremendous. And again, another insane riff from Lane. Just dropping it in right into Jeff's uh, little solo line that we're about to get into here. Um, the other thing that I noticed is right through this section, I don't know who's dropping down lower, whether it's Caesar or Ellie, but whoever did is getting down into like baritone levels. And I just wanted to kudos the range here. Let me listen to it one more time to see if I can tell which one it is. <laughs> I think it might have been both of them. Because I definitely heard Caesar get down there because his E's are like 
I very distinctly heard him. But I think both of them start to push down into the very either you're in the very low tenor range or get into a baritone range. Um, not great at identifying what those are, but like you know, you're getting up into the probably what four or five octave range, and then they're dropping into like the baritones, which you're usually sitting like you know, two the baritone C twos type stuff type thing. Just a ridiculous range. I know these guys have multi octave range on both of them. You know, they're, there's a reason they're in this group. It's because they're super creative people. They probably fit well and work together as a group. But, you know, you got to be able to sing if you're going to get into voice play. Um, so it doesn't shock me that they can do that. I just wanted to give it a shout out and give them kudos for it. Because uh, you're very used to hearing Caesar and Ellie be up in their, their high ranges, be up in that high tenor range. Uh, so when they get into these lower tenor and even into baritone ranges, like I just want to make sure they get their props for it. And it gets pointed out when I notice it because it doesn't feel like they do it often, even though they probably do. We just don't notice it a ton, but like there, it was pretty obvious. And I just wanted to give them a shout out. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Spare the sympathy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Okay. So I think if, you were told that Jeff was going to have a solo line and the last word that he was going to say in his solo line was enemy. How many people, raise your hands, would have thought that he would have dropped enemy down into the like absolute lowest ridiculous range that he could take it? And he kind of did earlier in the line, which I think was kind of the reason it was written that way. I would have been that way. I would have lost that bet because Jeff goes up into probably among the highest notes I've heard him in voice play covers. I know he can get pretty high in the solo covers because I've heard it, but like this gets up there uh, for him or for what we're used to him rather. I know he can do it because he's displayed it many, many times before, but like you don't hear it that often in these voice play covers, at least not there a ton of their most recent ones uh, because he's playing a very specific role and they have two very, very, very qualified tenors to kind of take over those notes, but Jeff gets his opportunity to show off his range in this song, and I really like it. Visually, real quick right here, um, Alexa doing some great, great work visually, you know, to continue to add that intrigue visually to the to the song. You can kind of see what she's doing here in the middle. Oh, the misery. Everybody right there. Wants to be my enemy. Spare the sympathy. Might be crushing on her. Everybody wants to be my enemy. So not only does enemy, like the the first part of me, get up there. Me, uh, sorry, kind of get up there. He goes even higher as the other guys start coming in, and he kind of gets a little bit hidden. But Jeff, sir, your range it's ridiculous. This song, and I like it. So I'm not exactly sure the techniques that he uses for that lane does on that breakdown. Um, I know there's snorting in there, which as you can hear there at the end, but that kind of in intake breathiness sound right at the beginning. I'm not sure how he goes about doing that. Not without being able to see it like very clearly and very like pay close attention to it, like not have it cut anywhere. Uh, really, I would like to be able to see it from the side because then I could see what his jaw and his throat movement is. That's how you can tell kind of the, my understanding and, and my experience. It's telling me that's the best way to start identifying uh, vocal percussion beatboxing techniques. But uh, I really wish I could. I mean, I'm sure it's probably on their Patreon, which I can't really do right now for life reasons but um but if anyone knows like what technique he uses or what was described as the technique on that i'd love to to hear it because uh i think it's really really cool uh, and one of the very coolest things so let's go ahead and finish out this song hopefully i won't be pausing too much more i can't believe i've taken a two and a half minute song and stretched it for 20 minutes now <laughs> You ready for Ellie? Here you go. 
Ooh, on spare, is that, that's got to get up into the five range, right? I'm not sure exactly, but he got up there. You could tell he had to really kind of, you know, visually, I'm sure, again, I know that these clips are typically lip-synced, uh, but I imagine what he's doing on screen isn't too much different than what he was doing when he was recording. So, yeah, very, 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 very cool stuff. So we've got an insane low from Jeff. Now we're getting insane high from Ellie. Caesar showing off an incredible range from high tenor to low baritone. Lane has been doing just an amazing set of different things here, as I've talked about enough already. And we have Alexa in here that's been doing both the, like, nailing the, her vocal parts, yes. But what I love that she's done in this video more is she added real intrigue video-wise to this with her movements and the way that it got edited to show off. Like, she has those jagged, ragged movements that kind of show, like, the, the state of manic manic depression slash like weird OCD type behaviors that we would sort of associate with that like manically doing like one particular thing or focusing on one particular thing which you know are symptoms of ADD, OCD, ADHD but also having like manic kind of unpredictable movement which you see with people that have like massive panic attacks all the time in, in, in some people so just really finding that good balance and blended mix really channeling jinx as a character you can tell she's really paid attention to the show if she you know, either whether she's a fan or just did it for the purposes of this video um just adds real real fantastic like visual to this video and she's really visually she's the star uh vocally everyone is always the star, but I'm particularly fond of what Lane does in this uh, in this song. So watch your watch watch uh, Alexa here. A little bit of choreography from Voice Play, which they don't do a ton of. You can see they did the hands kind of up onto their heads, cross their chest, and then out. A um, little bit of choreography from them that you know not something that you see from them a ton at least not in the videos that i reviewed and i will be reviewing but uh but again just a nice little video well nice little visual touch you can see right here Love the ending here. Ooh, Jeff. Let's listen to that again. Really, really nice throwing in the My Enemy part there into the into like his bass mix, where he goes from bass to My Enemy. Oh, yeah, octave, probably down, but then goes right back into the mm, kind of sounds for the bass guitar. Uh, really, really smooth stuff. Nice work, Jeff. What can you say about Ellie and, and Caesar and Alexa too here? Oh, God. That's probably the highest notes that they've hit in this song. If I'm identifying them even close to being correctly, like... Just... God, they're so good. I'm not even a big tenor fan, but I could just listen to those two all day. I adore them. Just so, so good. Uh, yeah. Shout outs to you two guys and Alexa as well, hitting the splits here. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to get this nice little slick ending here. Oh, the slide from Jeff. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, so good. My Ooh, where does Lane fall into this? Let me see if I can figure out where he's at. Enemy. I think Lane's doing some baritone work there. That's kind of blends in nicely. Like a really good baritone is a lot of the times can't be heard. Uh, but you can just tell, like, you know, they're there because you, there's like a, a level of richness, thickness to a chord, but a harmony that you like, 
it's hard to identify in some cases. Like you can hear Jeff, you hear the three up top, you know, Lane's kind of falling in that middle to add that thickness to it. Um, and it's really hard to tell, uh, but he does, you know, a great job. I know Lane's not the biggest fan of singing. He'll do it when he needs to and stuff like that. But for the most part, like he just likes doing the vocal percussion, but you know, the end of that song didn't call for a percussion. So you might as well get him involved some way. Um, I love that Lane is flexible like that when it's deemed necessary. Um, overall, this is probably up there, I'd say, in my top two or three. Halo or The Halo cover is really good. I don't know if I'd put that at the top, but I think this is probably up there as one of my favorite, if not my favorite, voice play cover. I, I think it's probably top three easily and maybe even one of the best. Uh, my favorite personally. Um uh, love Alexa in this might be crushing a little bit as I do on her and Ashley Diane uh, but just stupendous work visually it's so pleasing to watch audio wise from a, a vocal standpoint it's a joy to listen to good way to get hyped up uh, and the background of the show that it's that this is the intro song for being an amazing show like they took something that was amazing, kind of spun it, did it on their own, and made it just as amazing as the original song, which is one of my favorite Imagine Dragon songs. That is happens to be to one of my favorite shows on Netflix. It's probably right behind The Witcher, personally for me, as my favorite two shows on Netflix. So, just excellent, excellent work, and I am so happy this is in the world because I listen to this a lot and. Uh, yeah, you know, helps me get into like a mood to kind of be ready to to fight the day, so to speak. You know, um, been having a lot of personal problems over the last few weeks, and so uh, this is a song that just kind of gets me ready to to face the day that I've got. And so, uh, thank you, Voice Play. Thank you, Alexa, for making this and bringing it into our world. So. Uh, that's the end of this video all uh, we'll get back to voice play again next week probably going to do see i've done halo i've done enemy we'll do probably bruno next week and then i might put up a poll of four different ones that we could do and i'll let you guys vote on it through the community posts so be on the lookout for that coming later on this month so until the next video all actually before we end here um I meant to put up uh, Bobby Bass's Bass Singer cover and the Bass Gang's cover of Bones this past week, but I lost track of, of actually like editing and you know and fixing you know doing all the post work to recording on those. And I'm going to talk a lot about how oh this comes before the voice play video. That's not going to be the case. This is going to come after the voice play video. I'll put it in the community post when this goes up on Sunday. Uh, so just be aware of that. But uh, So I got those coming this upcoming week. Those should be coming out on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is should I just make this a reaction channel? And for my gaming stuff, do I do a second YouTube channel where I go more into, uh, you know, the World of Warcraft stuff and some of the other things? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all listening to great music. And I will see you all in the next video.